Hello everybody. Hello everybody, this is Kurt Brown, alias Saint Rambon. I'm here to talk about a few things. I'm a journalist. First and foremost, I'm a journalist. I'm concerned in America about many things. One of the biggest, I think, is the taking of children from what the government calls semi-dysfunctional or dysfunctional homes. Many times family members are nearby. You may ask, why do I trust the government? I used to be a Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation bank examiner, and I was put in an office where a regional director had been killed, or actually had been put in satellite offices and that office in San Francisco. I was also in one in Roseville, a.k.a. Sacramento, California. They wouldn't do it again. I'd advise people not to work for the government at all, but that's another topic and another issue. I saw the movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and it was based on a man, I think his name was Hunter S. Thompson, or Hunter Thompson, something of that sort. But it was a journalist who took things to excess, drugs and things of that sort, and he talked about how he liked to travel. I do like to travel. I travel primarily in the past, Alabama, California, and sometimes Washington, D.C., primarily Alabama and California and all points in between. I've survived attempts on my life. I've been beat down by government. I've been injected. I've been chased on the highways. I've been labeled a criminal and am to this day harassed. And I warn people about fear and loathing in California. Let's talk about the real deal here. In California, you got this prison state mentality where a lot of money is made in the prison industry. Let's face it, if uh, a millionaire can be sued and thrown in prison, his money taken away from him, that's good. But you can also make money off of the little guy, millions of little peasants, children who peasants who may do this or that. Sometimes it can be generous in handing over the money awards. And little towns, little prison towns in California have a mentality when you go in stores and such like that. It's that fear and loathing in California. Should I get the meat? Will they line up behind me, or will they send someone from the other side and distract my cashier? Try to send a guy in there between me and my money in the empty row as the cashier is distracted, or better yet, put a man in a dress. Why not? I heard that uh, Plenty of Fish, one of the dating, free dating sites, has plenty of pigs going on there, too. I'd like to warn you folks about that. Not only men in drag trying to get men who are chasing women, but also men in drag who are paid basically to harass other people and basically in syndicates involving possibly even the police of California and um, other crime syndicates. Let's face it, if a cop will steal money from you on the side of the road, he will kill you. He will kill you through starvation or some other means if possible. I called a Sheriff Jack Tillman of Mobile, Alabama stealing. He was starving inmates. Jack said, there is no money missing. It is all there. But what about the starving inmates? I don't see that. As a journalist, I learned to travel, though. I find it's much easier to travel. Uh, I used to travel triangles. You can travel rectangles, multiple triangles, whatever you like. I just found that uh, triangles seem to fit the pattern because you keep looping back on yourself without having actually to drive a circle. My friend was Los Angeles, California, Los San Francisco, California, and Mobile, Alabama, such Pensacola, Florida, really. Mm-mm-mm. Boy, has this country been ripped off. Let's talk about material things. Two trillion dollars stolen, loaned to Europe. A couple of years ago, I had a Yolanda Williams contact me over the email, a.k.a. Told me about it, I had a link to it to a Massachusetts senator. I tried to get $2,000 for some poor fisherman to buy my house. The bank approved it, but not the FHA. I gave the house back to the bank. They gave it to the next buyer. So ad nauseum in the real estate market of the United States. If we had true leaders who were on our side, we would have real estate, land, money, everything. I am an honest federal bank examiner. I'm an honest journalist. I try to do my best. I use myself as bait. I put myself in the middle of it, primarily because I'm bored with a normal 9-to-5 routine, I suppose. 
I was working at the FDIC and I issued a bank charter to an obvious mob boss in Roseville, California, following mob boss's lead. And I also examined a bank with a multi-millionaire bank president who was sweating. I had to interview him and I knew something was wrong, but I knew that the regional director had been killed at the FDIC where I'd worked only 10 years earlier. This was back in the year 1999 and 2000, so it was death was probably around 1990, the regional director in his office, and I was a little scared of them, because I also ran to call for a serial killer long ago named Randy Kraft, who would poison you. I was sent to a bank in Honolulu, Hawaii, and my boss, who I was working under, doing an assignment at infinitum, repeat numbers, repeat statement, that is the government way, as I was doing these things. The boss asked me to go up to their hotel room that evening to complete the assignment. I thought of Randy Kraft and the force injections. I thought of the blood in my mouth at the Long Beach Naval Center, Dental Center, uh, back in 1980s when I was stationed there. I thought of what I thought were guinea pigs over at the Long Beach Naval Hospital. There were so many of us there. What else are you going to do with bored sailors who slip and hurt themselves on the boats? Hypochondria ad infinitum leads to guinea pig-itis at Los Angeles Veterans and Los Angeles Reserve Military Hospitals. What goes on in San Diego, baby? I want you boys to quit harassing me at the Fed, by the way. You know I caught too many of you. You injected me too many times. The story's out on Arizona's Title 36-520 law. Sheriff Jack Snatch Fairy Possum Tillman is legend. To be hunted every April 3rd, 2001. I'd prefer to do an interview with him. If you can catch him, I prefer him alive. Satan will reconcile the accounts. I am simply the auditor. Kurt Brown, alias St. Rambo, also known as Dead Eye Dick. To my grandchildren, who I may never meet, Dead Eye Dick is a theory I hypostulated, hypothesized, speculated. Dead Eye Dick, the overriding of the central nervous system by an overriding system of neural tissues, possibly of the central nervous system, a creature even such as an allele, perhaps intermixed with the human genome of the nerve cells, the stem cells of moi, ya, da, ga, ga, lady gaga. Bet you she's got a nut. How? This is Kurt Brown, alias St. Brown Bong, wishing you the best. I like that guy, Hunter Thompson, but I don't approve of extreme drug usage, and I warn you to be aware of California towns where there is more fear and loathing than earthquakes, at least in this hour. As Hysterdamas said, I hypothesize the city of Los Angeles for the next earthquake. Beware, I'm on fire. I'm old. I don't care. Mobile Audit Club. Mobile Audit Club. Mobile Audit Club.